Good Tuesday morning, everyone. It is 11.35. Oops. It's GAPS time. Um, 11.35 on Tuesday Mountain Time. It is uh, November 7th. And I am Monica Corrado. I am the GAPS chef. I teach for Dr. Natasha Camel McBride as part of the GAPS training teaching team. My desire is to be here to help you understand how to implement the GAPS diet, um, answer your questions, and just be available to you to get this incredible nutritional protocol out there for everyone to use. Okay, um, quick couple things, folks. Um, I'm not a medical doctor, um, you know, yeah, I will try my best to accurately represent the GAPS diet uh, and the work of Dr. Natasha Campbell McBride um, during this and, oh, goodness gracious, <laughs> my chair, um, during this time and also on the page and also, um, yes, et cetera, everything I do, I try to do according to uh, what Dr. Natasha um uh, is teaching. So welcome uh, to anyone who's new to this page. Welcome to anyone who's new to the Facebook Live. Um, I do encourage you to look at them while they're on our page and also I post them on YouTube as I can. Um, I may be looking for another uh, site, if you will, to host me shortly. So I want to say hello to everyone today who's watching. Hello Chloe. Hello Faria. Good to see you. Hello, Natasha. Good to have you. Hello, Sharisha, Yasmin, and Jody. Hello, everyone. And everyone else who hasn't, who I can't see, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Sophie. Um, welcome, everyone. So I thought I'd do today's live about grief and how to help ourselves through some grief. Hello, Laura. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this without crying. <laughs> Maybe not such a good idea. Okay, let's try it. Okay. So. I think I need my own tools for grief. Oh, okay, so what can we do when we are sad and in shock and dealing with trauma? Um, a lot of you know that I've had a lot of this in the last year and a half. Uh, with my mom passing and then my dad in this past year and now uh, a colleague and friend. Yeah, not so easy to do, eh? Okay, so I'll try to keep it together for all of you and then answer questions because when I'm working, I'm fine, but when I'm feeling, I'm not so fine. Okay, so yes, many of you know that Dr. Becky Plotner passed yesterday morning, very early in the morning. Uh, I'm not going to mention too many things about details because the family has not done, uh, as far as I know, they have not done a, um, an official announcement. So let's just say that she is with her Lord and Creator now in heaven, and uh, she really contributed very much to GAPS. Um, and so a lot of us are grieving and a lot of us are in shock and a lot of us have trauma and are feeling just traumatized about it all. So what do we have? What can we do? What can we do to feel better? So I want to talk about a couple things. I want to talk about the heart and, um, this is the emotional heart. This is where all the pain sits. I really 
believe that we need to support our heart both on the physical level, that means with what we're eating um, and drinking, etc., cetera, uh, and certainly on the emotional level. So um, I will start with the physical level and then we'll go to the emotional level. Hello to everyone who's joined us. Habon Ali, Far Farah, and Jean. Hello, welcome. So on the physical, hello Amber, on the physical level, what can we do? On the physical level to take care of our hearts. <clears throat> get a lot of sleep. Let's all get a lot of sleep and let us really take care of ourselves. Um, allowing ourselves deep, deep rest. Allowing ourselves deep, deep rest. Allowing ourselves to nap allowing ourselves whatever it is we need, um, whether it's walks in nature, which can really help, um, whether it's sitting in the sunshine, which can really help, whether you're inside or out, if it's too cold, sit. Hello, Lauren. Good to have you. Um, <clears throat> so let's get lots of sleep. Let us uh, listen to what our body needs. It will talk to us. I need more rest. Okay. I need more quiet. Okay. I need some solitude. Okay. I need to be with family. Okay. I need a good friend. Okay. What is it that your body is saying it needs right now when it's grieving? Some people need more hugs and more closeness. Some people really need just to be alone for a while. Maybe you need a little bit of both. Just listen. Just listen. One of the gifts I've said that Dr. Natasha has given us through the GAPS diet is learning to listen to our bodies. And while most of the time <laughs> we've been listening to our body's needs for digestive things, right? And what it's saying, I like this food, I don't like that food, right? I'm constipated, I'm letting things go too fast, right? But there's also the listening to our bodies when it says, I really just need some quiet. I really just need more rest. I really just need more time. Hello, Victorious Valerie, thanks for coming by. I really just need more space to myself. I need to go sit and look at the lake or the mountains or a plant or I need to sit with my dog. I need to sit with my cat. I need to pet them and hang out with them and just allow myself more time and more space around all of this. Death is hard. Even when you have knowing that this person is better off now, even when you know that they're out of pain or they're out of suffering, they're no longer doing those things or no longer subject to those things, pain and suffering, they aren't here anymore. Here, physical plane in the body and that I'll keep my mouth clean today. It's really lousy. <laughs> so we listen. We listen to our bodies. We listen to what it's saying. We listen to what it needs. We listen. It's interesting. It is the time of autumn. It is the time of goodbyes. It is the time of letting go. Energetically, that's what this time is. All around the world, when you're in autumn, it's about letting go and releasing to the earth what is the earth's and allowing it to die and to fall away. It is lung time, folks. Lungs hold grief. So you really want to be not only taking care of your heart, right now, physically, 
with rest and with listening, yeah, but with your lungs physically, because as I said, the lungs are where grief is held. If we don't allow it to move, if we don't allow it to allow ourselves to cry, allow ourselves to yell, scream, beat the pillow, stomp around, cry, then our lungs get congested, then the energy gets stagnant, then we get a cold, if you will, then we get sick, if you will, or at least we get congested, yeah, we get stuck. If things get stuck in our lungs, if emotions get stuck in our lungs, like grief and sadness, the body will follow with stuckness in the lungs, stagnation, mucus, etc. So we really want to be taking care of ourselves right now, taking care of our hearts, taking care of our lungs. How do you take care of your lungs on the physical plane? You drink warm beverages, soothing, nourishing, calming, warm beverages. You drink stock in a mug with good salt and some fat. You drink ginger tea. You drink other herbal teas. You drink warm things that will help, yeah, will help keep the lungs from being stagnant. You do things with essential oils. You can use that for grief and also, so for the heart, you can use things like geranium. You can use things like um, lime, which is about joy. You can use things like lavender, which is about balance. Bringing things to balance. If you're feeling very, very sad, it'll bring you to center. Yeah. For your lungs, you can use oils like eucalyptus, you can use oils like um, hyssop, you can use oils like anything that will open the bronchioles to allow you to breathe. There are blends out there also. You can do steams with your lungs, right? Steams with essential oil um, to help your lungs. You can also do steams with essential oil to help your heart, which is sad. That would be, again, lavender, geranium, lime. Yeah. So on the physical plane, again, in terms of uh, what can you do when you're grieving, what can you do when you have trauma besides rest and listening to whatever it is you need, whether it's more connection with people or less connection with people, right? You can take minerals. Minerals are very, very helpful during this time. Um, specifically, uh, things like potassium, um, things like magnesium, um, you can take minerals. I'm a big mineral girl. If I'm under any kind of stress, I'm going to take a bunch of minerals. I'm going to take magnesium, potassium. I only personally work with standard process, so I will take Easy Mag from standard process Mintran. Those are minerals. Take a lot of them. Um, so minerals are a tool to help you maintain balance and to help the body have what it needs as it goes through grief, as it grieves, as it goes through this traumatic event. Another option which I like to use, I am not a homeopath. I am not trained in homeopathy, uh, only self-trained, is uh, cell salts. I like to use bioplasma, which is uh, 12 salts, um, to help to keep me stable during these times when there's a lot of grief or shock or trauma. So that's bioplasma. I like to use that. Um, and my tried and true friend, which you've all heard about me talk, talk about, or you've all heard me talk about before, or previously is Bach Flower Remedy Star of Bethlehem. I brought her with me today for you to see. So that's what it looks like. It's a little tiny bottle, pretty small. It says 20 ml. It's not even an ounce, 20 ml, wow. 
And so I like to use this. Star of Bethlehem is a Bach flower specific. It says neutralize grief. So if you haven't worked with flower remedies, I encourage you to look into them. They're very, very, they're very, very powerful, but uh, in a very gentle way. They're kind of gently powerful. They can really help when you have any grief, any shock, any trauma in your life. And Lord knows we got a lot of it everywhere right now. People are dying, at least in my world. Um, and in your world, if you're a gapster, we just, you know, Becky is now, that's the second, uh, maybe third gaps practitioner that one of the big players that is now gone. Um, so, Star of Bethlehem is very, very easy to use. You can carry it around in your pocket and never do anything uh, with it. You can take two drops under your tongue two or three times a day. You can put it in your water glass. Put it in my water glass, not just the whole bottle. <laughs> but, you know, anywhere from two to seven drops. Put it in my water, sip on it all day. Fabulous. Helps to move the grief out of the body, right? So if you put Star of Bethlehem under your tongue, it goes to every cell to help it with grief. If you put Star of Bethlehem in water and drink it, it flushes the grief out of your body. So that's a really wonderful thing to do. You can also put Star of Bethlehem a drop or two directly on your heart chakra in the middle of your heart. That's your energetic heart. You can put it right on your physical heart. You can put it right here, your perception. Put it on the top of your head. You can put it in your bath water. You can make a spray of it. Oh, what a lovely thing. Oh, I think I'll do that today. Where you can put, uh, put some Star of Bethlehem in a little um, spray bottle. Usually it'll be brown or blue. We want to keep them in a dark colored glass. And spray it. Spray yourself. You will feel so much better if you uh, spray yourself with the Star of Bethlehem. You could spray your heart. You could spray your... Whew. You can spray your face. You can spray over the top of your head, whatever you like. Um, Star of Bethlehem and all of the Bach flower remedies. And I actually work with several other families of remedies. I work with the Australian bush remedies. I work, work with the Green Hope Farm remedies. I work with uh, Floralive remedies. I work with Findhorn remedies. There are many, many flower remedy families, if you will, that I work with. But this is the one I always go back to. Star of Bethlehem, clear grief, clear or neutralize grief, shock, and trauma to the system. Now, Star of Bethlehem, if you don't have it, you it is one of the five flowers in Rescue Remedy. Yeah, so you could use this, use Rescue Remedy if you uh, don't have Star of Bethlehem. And again, flower remedies are safe for children, pets, adults. You can take them internally under your tongue. As I said, you can put them in water and sip on them all day. You can put them in the bathtub, uh, a couple of drops. You can put them in a spritz bottle and spritz yourself. You can put them on the top of the head. You can put them on your third eye. You can put them on your heart if your heart is hurting. They're very forgiving. They're very potent. They're very powerful. They're very inexpensive. Um, and we know, I say it over and over again, anyone who works with me as a client or a friend or family member, we know that the emotions, if we don't work with our emotions, they will get stuck in our body and they will cause symptoms in the body. So really important this time, folks, in this time of autumn, in this time of letting go, in this time of grieving for people who are dying, friends, colleagues, family members, neighbors, whoever they are, people all over the world are dying, as we know, in wars and conflict and everything else. If you're watching the news, which I hope you are not, your choice. <laughs> but those images that we see of people dying and people in distress and people who are hurting yeah, it hurts us because we are connected. And so I really encourage, I think, this may be the remedy, Star of Bethlehem, that we all need to take from now until the end of time. I don't know. From now until the end of the year? From now until the new year? 
from now until the conflicts are over, and from now until your beloved has passed, or until you've gotten over the fact that a dear friend or a colleague or a family member has died, when does that happen? Years? We don't know. So, Star of Bethlehem, again, if, you, if you're just coming in, I'm just talking about a tool for grief and shock and trauma. I encourage you all, if you're interested in learning more about Bach Flower Therapy, to go ahead and grab this book. I don't know if it's going to be backwards. It might be. Right? It's called The Encyclopedia of Bach Flower Therapy. It's got beautiful pictures of these beautiful flowers, and it tells you, it teaches you all about how to use them and what they do and why they work and la, la, la. I'll show you. Star of Bethlehem they call the comfort flower. So I'll just bring her on. There you go. Isn't she beautiful? She's beautiful. The comfort flower, Star of Bethlehem. So this little flower they make into a homeopathic uh, solution, and that's what is in this bottle. Now, it is stabilized in brandy, typically. If you don't want to drink brandy, then put it on your head, put it on your heart, put it in your bath, spray yourself with it, um, etc. Um, or some people put some boiling water over it, and it just gets rid of the alcohol. Um, they also make it in glycerin, I think. Um, Glycerin has its own problems for digestive, but eh, it's only a drop or two. So you can decide whether you want brandy or, which is the traditional way to stabilize these beautiful uh, remedies, um, or uh, go ahead and get the one that they're now making that's non-alcoholic. All right, so I don't know if any of that is helpful. I just want to say that the GAPS diet will support you during these times of tragedy and loss and grief and pain and sorrow it will it will support you it naturally supports us because it's full of warming foods it's full of um, grounding foods it's full of nourishing soups and nourishing stocks um, it's full of all those beautiful things that we really need the minerals that are in the salt that we eat it's full of um, the fats that we need, right, to feel better. So GAPS as a diet itself will help us through these times of grief and times of sorrow and times of stress. I encourage you in that way. And these other tools of beautiful Star of Bethlehem, minerals, you can take minerals right now. I really encourage you to do that. Um, I am not, as I said, a, a trained homeopath. We have homeopathic homeopaths on this page who may be able to um, chime in with more beautiful homeopathic remedies. Um, I was blessed to work with Lise Battaglia, who is on this group and a certified GAPS practitioner when my mother died and my father died with specific homeopathics for me to help get through that. Um, I may call her again today. Okay, so that's really what I've got, folks. Take care of yourselves. Take, I mean, I'm happy to take questions. I'm staying on. But take care of yourselves right now. You've had, you've had a shock. Uh, we all have. And we continue to be shocked by our world with tragedy all over. So, yeah, tend to your hearts. Take care of them. Listen to them. Hear what they have to say. Let the emotion move. Don't let it be stuck. Um, take care on a physical level of your lungs right now. Lots of beautiful sauerkraut juice and maybe some fire cider if you make some of that. Um, certainly ginger and garlic are very, very good for the respiratory system. Um, yeah. You may also want to look into some hawthorn berry. Tea, hawthorn tea is a hawthorn is an herb that's also very very helpful for the heart. All right, let me see what we've got coming in here. I hope that was helpful, and I really appreciate you all being here today. As I said, it's been it's a rough day for the Gaps uh, community, and for so many people who have been touched by my friend and colleague. I can't even say it.
Okay. Hello, Katie. Hello, Selena. Hello, Fatima. Hello, Priscilla. Who did I not say hello to? Hello, Alyssa. Oh, my God. I missed you at Wise Traditions this year. I just... I didn't go, very sadly. It's the first one I've missed in years and years and years and years and years. It's ruining my average that I didn't go, but I went to Boston to take my son to see colleges. So I wasn't at Wise, so I missed you, Alyssa. Big hug. Hello, Estrella. Hello, Hamda. Hello, Um. Hello, Jillian. Hello, M. Am Amegda. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Tara. Hello, Umu. Hello, Muna. Hello, Edita. Hello, Anna. Hello, Misha. Hello, Franca. I said, hello, Kathleen. Hello, Yasmin. Hello, Betsy. Who else have we got coming on here? Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. Okay, Yasmin says, can you recommend minerals that are okay on the GAPS protocol for kids? Um, yes, I, frankly, folks, I am all about, let me check something. I'm looking at it on my glasses on. That's a problem. Uh, 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 organic. Yeah. Um, you know what? Um, I love Easy Mag, but Easy Mag has things that are not GAPS compliant in it. I love Mintran, but Mintran has things that are not GAPS compliant. So why don't I um, look up some and I will get to you. What you want to do for children and for adults uh, in terms of minerals, number one, make sure that you're getting enough uh, beautiful high mineral salt. I've got salts on my website, Baja Gold, um, Celtic Sea Salt. I know they're having some supply issues right now from what I could tell. Um, there's also a beautiful high potassium salt that you can get from Selena naturally. So start with salt. Uh, make sure your children are also having seaweed once in a while if you're on full gaps for sure. Um, seaweed has a lot of uh, oligosaccharides in it, so you want to have it on full gaps and not on intro um, when you're ready for that. Um, you can also have lots of minerals by having beautiful green drinks. Um, watch the kale, not too much kale, folks. Don't juice kale every day because that's too strong of a thyroid inhibitor. So let me go ahead, look at me when I'm, okay. I'm gonna make a note, gaps, minerals. Minerals, oh, look at that, I can write right here. So minerals, kids, minerals, gaps. Got it. Okay, let's keep going from here. Selena, how do we increase our body's own glutathione through the GAPS diet? You know, I have no idea. I'm sorry to say it that way, folks, but um, one of the things that you want to understand, that everyone needs to understand, or whatever, don't understand it, I guess, but one of the most important things that I find uh, to understand about GAPS is that GAPS is a whole protocol we really, Dr. Natasha really does not, um, she really does not encourage us to single out one little thing and talk about how we're going to fix it. So we work the diet, we eat lots of organ meat, we have beautiful stocks, uh, meat stocks, and good salt, and good fats, and lots of it, and then everything comes to balance. That's what I've got for that. Okay. Priscilla says, all my GAP symptoms have flared with the stress. I, I get it. I understand. I'm sorry. I hear you. So once again, what have we got? Compassion. Compassion. Compassion for ourselves. Compassion for our bodies. Compassion for our feelings. Just, you know, do a lot of deep breathing and try to stay present moment and just listen to the body what's it what does it need right now you may need more epsom salt baths you may need more time in a nice warm tub you may need more beautiful castor oil packs on your liver you may need anything that's going to be soothing and nourishing right now soothing and nourishing what feels good to me right some people are going to want to eat a bucket of creme fraiche right just watch the die off um 
Yeah, lots of rest and just, you know, listen to your body and what it needs. I hear you, Priscilla. I'm sorry about that. Rescue remedy may help. We remember, again, that physical symptoms explode or can explode or express or be aggravated or agitated or show up when our emotions are out of whack, right? When our emotions, when we're very, very emotional, when we're stressed out, Yes, so Rescue Remedy could help with that. It may calm things down. You may want to take some of that. Bach Flower, B-A-C-H, Flower Remedy, Rescue Remedy. It's also called the Five Flower Remedy. Fatima, oh, sweet. How am I feeling? I've been feeling really awful, missing back. Yeah, I, I'm pretty, yesterday, I found out yesterday, and I was pretty much in shock for the rest of the day, uh, really dysregulated, not thinking very straight, um, hard to, yeah, yeah, hard to think, really. It's also triggering for me uh, a lot of the things around the death of my both of my parents in the last year, year and a half. This is the time of year when my things started going downhill for my dad. Many of you will remember that when I flew down to Florida the day after Thanksgiving and then, you know, he was in the hospital every, I was there for weeks and weeks and weeks. So triggering. Yes, I know it. Take care of yourself, Adama, huh? Yara says, today I was scheduled with Becky and one hour ago, I knew about the news. You can't imagine what I am feeling now. It's almost like orphaned. Yeah. I know I'm not, you know, I get that. I hear that. I, um, yes, for everyone who was one of her clients that she worked with one on one, uh, and certainly everyone who was, you know, going to her Zooms and on her page and everything else, I'm sure there is a great loss going through the community and everyone is feeling orphaned. And I get it. I, I get it. What are we going to do about that? I don't know. Except, you know, I would think that Becky would want you to continue doing what you were doing when you were working with her, everyone, and then try and find your support, find another practitioner. I mean, ultimately, that's what you're going to need to do if you, if you need to work with a practitioner or you want to work with a practitioner. So, um you can go, of course, to gaps.me, Dr. Natasha's website, and go to find a GAPS practitioner. And then, you know, they've been really working on uh, making sure everyone that's on there is an actively practicing practitioner. Some of them are not. They've been there for on the list for 10 years, but they don't practice. So you'll have to call and find out, um, you know, interview them. I give 15-minute interviews, of course, on my website to just talk to people and see what they're up to and what do they need and can I be a he of help, that kind of thing. So that would be really good to do. Always interview someone before you go signing up for any session, package, appointment, whatever, to make sure you're a good fit. I, yeah. Big hole left. Oh, which you wish you all the best in this difficult time. Thank you, Um Sumaya. You're very sweet. Fatima says, Becky gave me hope when I was helping my child recover from autism. It's hard to imagine a life without her and her wisdom. So let's not imagine a life without her and her wisdom. Let us go to her books and read her articles and use them, right? That stuff isn't gone, which is great. Yeah. So those are ways to continue to benefit from what she knew. Yeah. I'm so sorry for your loss. Oh. Thank you, Estrella. Very sweet. Thank you. Hello, Melanie. Hello, Hamda. Thank you so much. I'll take them. Lots of hugs. I love them. Hey, Isabel, how are you? Hi, Isabel. Good to have you with us. Hello, hello. Okay, Umsumaya asks, 
is there are is there a certain book of essential oils which you would recommend you know what I have a very old one and I love it I can show it to you it's called the reference guide I'm sorry if it's backwards the reference guide for essential oils the reference guide for essential oils but I'm happy to put that up too. Uh, put it on the page essential oil book let's find one that everyone can use and then, of course, I, I gave you the flower remedy book, which is called the Encyclopedia of Bach Flower Remedies. Yeah. Ah, thanks, Chloe. Yep. I use Celtic sea salt already. Excellent, Yasmin. I also, I suggest, I do suggest that everyone, um, I did a, a video a while back, I don't know, a year ago, on salt. So you can go on this page, just look for the events on salt, or go to Ask the Gap Chef on YouTube. And watch the one on salt it's a really really good idea for you to use at least two or three different salts in your house if it's at all possible um, because each salt will have a different um, uh, amount it'll have different minerals and different amounts of minerals so really important to get a good salt make sure that you get one that has no fillers and no anti-flow agents and they can tell you all the minerals this loss hits me hard. Yep, Melanie. We are on stage three now. Excellent, Yasmin. My kids are on chelation protocol. Who else helps with this after Becky? You know, Farah, I don't know. I do not work with chelation because I am more on the cooking side. I am, while I am a nutritionist, I'm not a naturopathic doctor and um, or any other doctor. And um, Becky really that was her thing the chelation protocol was her thing we're gonna have to find some other gaps practitioner that really is knows knows chelation and i'm not sure who that is but again um the only thing that i can suggest to everyone is to get on gaps.me go to find a practitioner and start looking at different people um they've started putting um uh, what can I say, uh, specialties underneath uh, the practitioner name so you know what they do, and um, start calling and find out, hey, I need help on a chelation protocol. Do you do Do you do you chelation? The answer is going to be yes or no. If anybody says, anybody says, well, not really, but I could, don't go there. Chelation is too important. Uh, um, you really want to make sure you're working with someone who's very, very, very strong in that. hard time a lot of people dying i pray for everyone thank you hamda yes let us all pray for each other yeah my depression is all time high now okay so depression star bethlehem i'm telling you every day three times a day two drops under your tongue um and make sure you're getting enough sunlight and make sure that you are staying connected to people um, loved ones for sure um, yes take care of yourself please for sure hello Kelly back flower remedy is essential during these times of grief grief yes it really is you're welcome hello Lisa okay while well, nursing yes yep Priscilla okay while well, nursing if you have any concern about taking it orally Put it on your head or put it on your heart. You don't have to put it in internally at all. Put it on your body. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Desi Slava. Hello. I hope I didn't butcher that. Hello, Elaine. Elaine Ann. How do we get standard process items when we're not a licensed practitioner? You connect with um, people who are licensed practitioners. Um, you become a client of... Uh, a practitioner and then you have access to standard process products or um, there are many people who are selling them on Amazon at this point so I'm not I'm sad about that but I actually think standard process themselves have a page where you can get things that you need on Amazon so check that out victorious Valerie says we all miss Becky she was a great asset Yes, for sure. Priscilla says, I completely dissociated. Two hours went by and I forgot my baby was on the floor crawling. Thankfully, I have a beautiful 13-year-old. 
Yes, thankfully you have a beautiful 13-year-old, absolutely. Yeah, I didn't completely dissociate, but I definitely was like out of it. And um, yes. The other thing you can do to try and ground people is start feeling your feet on the ground. Like literally, whether you have shoes on or off, like literally feel your feet when you're walking. Remember, feel your feet when you're walking. Yeah, really important. You can do that. Um, also, you can lean against a wall for a while and make sure that what you want to do is get a sense of being in your body, like you're in your body, because what happens when we have a lot of stress is we go out of our body and then, yeah. So we want to make sure that we're in our body. Um, I do have, um, just remembering now, on my... On my Simply Being Well um, Facebook page, which is my company name, Simply Being Well, um, there are videos called, which I did when we had a very, very frightening election here um, a long time ago. Um, anyway, I did it during a very traumatic time. And so there are videos called Tools to Soothe and Stabilize. There are three or four very short videos um, which you are welcome to go and watch. Hopefully they're, they're, they're helpful to you. As I said, I probably did it, I don't know, 10 years ago, maybe eight years ago, called Tools to Soothe and Stabilize. And I talk there at different, I have a friend that works with trauma. I interview her. I have another friend that does laughter yoga. I interviewed her and I did a couple things on flower remedies and other things. So check those out. Hopefully they're helpful to you. They're free and available. Um, on my Facebook page, Simply Being Well, um, under videos. So there's a bunch of those there. Hello, Esther. Good to have you. Yes, big shoes to fill. Yep. Hello, Natasha. You're welcome, Kelly. I hope it's helping. Okay, we got some other questions coming in. Okay, Um Sumaya asks, what is the difference between GAPS Live and GAPS Chat? I read something about GAPS Chat on your website. Yeah, so GAPS Chat, C-H-A-T, is an online subscription group, meaning people pay some very small amount of money every month. Um, and we meet every week. You get a Zoom link and we meet every week for an hour and we chat all things GAPS. So um, I've been running the GAPS chat for about five years now. And um, people that work with me as clients are on GAPS chat for additional support. And then other people just join the GAPS chat so they can have access. That's really what it is. It's about being able to talk with me uh, every week, um, every Thursday morning, 10 a.m. Mountain Time. Um, we talk about all things GAPS. Sometimes we'll do two or three weeks worth of detoxification or two or three we weeks worth of the different GAPS diets. I mean, we talk about all sorts of things. Um, and you also get a community. So we have a community. People know each other and it's a safe place to talk about what's going on with you. That is GAPS chat. Again, so you can look at simplybeingwell.com. Go under GAPS Practitioner and you'll find GAPS Chat and all the information there. Feel free to shoot me a note if you have any questions about that. This is the GAPS Live or Facebook Live that I do on Tuesdays. I try to do them every week. Sometimes I can't uh, where I'm here to just answer your questions about anything GAPS. Again, I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not a naturopathic doctor. I'm a nutritionist and I'm all about the food. So if you have questions about you know, how to make organ meat or what's going on with your uh, creme fraiche or cultured cream or when to start something on the diet or that kind of stuff. That's most of what I can help you with. I don't work with tests. Um, it's just not my thing. As I said, we all have our gifts. And mine is in the kitchen. Okay. Okay. Without Becky, I would never be able to free... I would never be able to free birth my youngest. She gave me the confidence and she was there when I needed. Ah, being an RH negative, this was important to me. Well, I'm thrilled. We're so happy she could be there for you. Yes, Becky has a heavy metal course. Excellent. Thank you, Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer, thanks for putting that up there. Really appreciate the link. 
Okay, should still be available. Yes, Adriana says, such a huge loss for us all. May her work and her wisdom continue through those of us who are fortunate to know her and to work closely with her. And may we complete the path of healing she set forth for us with her immense knowledge, grace, and time. Yes. Really well said, Adriana. As you can see, I'm a little broken up. I can't really do that myself. Thank you. Hello, Melinda. Hello, Vori. Hello, Alma. Yes, Um Adam buys standard process from Amazon because she's because uh, because they are outside the U.S. Is grounding done only in the summer? How do we continue to do it in the colder months? Mm, grounding. So there's grounding through bare feet that we go walking on the earth. Um, I probably wouldn't do that when snow is out. Yeah. But there are also grounding mats you can get. Uh, there are grounding exercises you can do. Uh, frankly, folks, um, I like to tell people to go to Tahiti. That's actually a friend of mine's little thing. She calls it going to Tahiti. Let's all go to Tahiti. Going to Tahiti is putting your legs up the wall and putting your, so you lie down on the floor and you shimmy your rear end, your butt up to buttocks up to the wall and then you put your legs up the wall so like this is these are your legs up the wall and this is your body not very straight but right you get the idea it's like an out there that's better so this is your your body and these are your legs up the wall and you lie on your back you put your legs up the wall straight and you lie there my friend who's a incredible human being calls it going to tahiti it really helps to regulate your autonomic nervous system. It helps with stress. It helps with depression. It helps with anxiety. It just helps you get chill, not chill like asleep, but just calm down. So I, ex I really suggest that everyone go to Tahiti when you get off, the off this call today. Put your legs up the wall and just put a little timer on, close your eyes, and, and think good thoughts. Think beautiful things. Go to Tahiti in your mind. Go to your favorite place that you love. Is it the mountains? Is it the beach? Is it the ocean? The lake? Is it your flower garden? Is it your vegetable garden? Is it a farm that you love? Where? What do you love? Go there for 10 minutes. Everyone can find 10 minutes and, and watch your body come to balance and watch your healing continue. Uh, and... I don't want to say speed up, but certainly deeper healing will happen. Go to Tahiti, everyone. Hello, Ellie. Hello, Ava. Let's see. What's your opinion on grounding blankets? And is there a brand or company you would recommend? I love grounding blankets. There are two grounding things I'm, I'm aware of. One is a grounding mat, which you sleep on, which may be electrical, which means I wouldn't like it. I don't think we should be sleeping on electrical things. Um, but there's also, there are also grounding blankets and grounding blankets are made of, some of them are made with buckwheat hulls. So grounding blankets, just really, they're weighted blankets. I think that's what you're talking about. Weighted blankets are so good to calm the autonomic nervous system. Fantastic. I don't have a brand, but... I'm going to look up one, so grounding blanket. Let's look it up, and we can share on the page, yeah? Thank you, Ava. Hello, Natalie. Nice to have you. It's been a while. Okay. Monica, what's the cause of sciatica pain before menses start? Feels like a sore bruise on the thigh and a muscle cramp. Hmm. I don't know, Fatima, I don't know what the cause of sciatica pain would be, um, especially before menses, but mm, I'm thinking, I'm trying to go back in my mind. But what I suggest to every woman on the planet, wherever you are, is to go for regular acupuncture because it can help you stay well. So acupuncture if you can't find an acupuncturist where you are they're not available they're not local they're too hard to get to they're too expensive whatever i would really suggest that all women i'm going to put this up on the page 
go out and get an acupressure book, which you can do yourself, which can really help you come to balance around your cycle. So, and the other thing is, whenever we hear things about sciatica, I think chiropractic, right? Sciatica, nerve, alignment, misalignment. So perhaps chiropractic would also be helpful. That's what I've got for that. Here's Aza. Hello, Aza. I hope that's helpful. I'm thinking to buy Becky's few courses. Is someone managing her website? You might know. So here's the deal, folks. We really haven't gotten more information yet. This is all so fast. So, meaning yesterday. So, um, I would just hold on for at least a week or two. And um, I'm sure everything will get settled. Like, they'll figure it out. Right now, I don't know what was left, if there was anything put into place when she before she passed. I do know that her husband has been managing a lot of the tech, but I don't know. I just don't know. So I would just, you know, just stay tuned. You can stay on this page. I will post whatever I get. I will post about memorials. I will post about where we can send things. I will post about whatever I find. I will be helpful. I will be happy to um, share with everyone. So that's all I've really got. Hey, Dana, how are you? Hi, Monica, I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. Thank you for all you do for the GAPS community. You're welcome. It's my joy. Not right now, it's my pain, but it's my joy. Okay, good Yasmin, sounds good. Okay, grounding bed sheets. As far as I know, those things are great. I just would really check to make sure none of it is electrical because you don't want electricity going through your body. Okay. Delphine is here. Hello. Angie is here. Hello. Oh, my new book. Oh, my goodness. Do I have a new book, Elaine? I'm working on a new cookbook, but that is just going to be a lot of fabulous. Yes, it's true. Gaps recipes. That is something that I put on hold when my dad went in the hospital. And frankly, I just picked it up like last week because um, I forgot about it. Um working on that cookbook, um, but just a couple of things I forgot to announce at the beginning of this little conversation, which is um, I am going to put out a GAPS holiday baking course, just a short one with a couple of recipes for the holidays, um, and also a Being Well Through Winter course, which I will let you know, and anyone that's on my page always gets a, um, always gets a, a break, right, a discount, etc. Yes, sciatica and back pain can be linked to flat feet. It can also be linked to um, kidneys, the kidney meridian. It can be linked to adrenal stress. It can be linked to not enough water. There's all sorts of things. Cupping massage, I love that. So, yeah, Elaine, I'll keep you posting on all those things. Hello, Haifa. Hello, I hope that's right. Okay, let's see. Chloe asks, Oh, that's sweet. Victorious Valerie says, journaling usually helps me. Yes, journaling is another tool to help you. Yes, journaling, great. Journaling, meditation, yoga, prayer, connections with people, all sorts of good things. Yeah? Okay. Hi, Angie. Yes, I will definitely take a look at that. Okay. Wait, I have something from Chloe. I have a question about cream. I have access. To... Great. I love the mundane. I don't mean that badly. It's just not too emotionally charged. I have a question about cream. I have access to raw conventionally raised cream, but not a able to source grass-fed cream aside from what we consume in our grass-fed raw milk, kefir, and yogurt. Would you say it's better to keep making sour cream with the raw conventional cream or not have sour cream at all? I would say that if you're getting raw milk, uh, that I would be skimming some of the cream off the raw milk to make your sour cream, your cultured cream. Yeah, really good because it's really important. So, you know, if, if a quarter of the, of the jar or a third of the jar is cream, take half of that and go culture that. 
I would not go near conventionally raised cream if I if I didn't have to. Um, let me say that differently. If my only option was to get conventionally raised cream, then what I would do is only make kefir cream with it. Do not make sour cream, right? So gap sour cream, but make it with kefir because kefir can help to, um, what can I say? It's not modulate. Kefir can help to, sorry, my brain's not working well, to clear, uh, neutralize, good word, um, you know, some of the toxins in the raw, pardon me, in the conventionally raised cream. But if it were me, I would really, 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 really suggest skimming some of the cream from your raw milk um, and, and making cream from that. Yeah, making a uh, gap sour cream from that. Very important. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Bisma, how are you? Yoga Nidra is great for grounding yourself in the present moment. It's my favorite. Jennifer, you're so cool. I knew that you were really cool, but now you're even cooler. Uma, hello, Uma. Jody Reno, soothing music and songs can be encouraging and comforting. Yes. Chloe, that is very, very helpful. Thank you for your input. You are welcome. All right, folks, we are at time. I think I got everyone. I just want to wish all of you, you know, blessings. Take care of yourselves right now because there's a lot going on, you know. Every time we get hit with um, another loss, whether, again, it's the death of a family member, it's the death of a friend, it's the death of a practitioner, it's the death of a colleague, it's the death of anyone that means something to us. It really can be very traumatic and uh, shocking and all sorts of things. So take care of yourselves. Be mindful. Listen to what you need, right? As I talked about in the beginning of this little conversation about an hour ago, right? Warm, right? Warm foods, warm tea, soothing music, Star of Bethlehem, as I said, take that. Um, I do have, I think, one or two other YouTubes <clears throat> under Ask the Gap Chef Trauma and Ask the Gap Chef um, Flower Essences or Remedies. You might want to look those up. They could be helpful. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think that's all I've got, folks, but Stay tuned. I will. I will let you know. Uh, the Gaps community will let you know, or I will let you know on this page what we find out, uh, so that you can all stay in touch and stay connected. Yeah. Again, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Yeah. Lots of compassion right now. Compassion for self. Listen to what you need. What do you need? Right. What do you need? Okay. That's so beautiful, Yasmin. Thank you for that. Ava says, great for, for these live sessions you provide to us who sometimes have questions. Appreciate people like you and Becky who are willing to share some of your time and invaluable information. You're welcome. You're welcome, Angie. You're welcome, Ava. It's my, it's my joy. Yeah. The more people I can help, the better. Not everyone can get on my calendar, right? It's crazy. Aw. Okay, got to go. I have to go teach the coaches. Hooray! All right, take care of yourselves. Hello, Leonie came on. Good to see you. Hello, you're welcome. Thank you, Victorious Valerie. Thanks for coming by, everybody. It's been really wonderful. Thank you, Jody. Do my best. All right, blessings. <clears throat> take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I will see you in a week. Okay, bye now.